Howdy friends, my name is Wes Lee. Thanks for stopping by my shop today. I opened my own shop and started a YouTube channel to show what the band instrument trade was all about. Today is something a little bit different. We have Independence Day coming up tomorrow, but it's a pretty big week for me too. Amazingly enough, I started this YouTube channel last year and really have no ideas about where I was going. I just kind of wanted to make videos and put out tips and tricks. One thing kind of led to another. I don't do any advertisement or anything like that, but this week we hit over a thousand subscribers and wow, that's incredibly humbling. But what's even cooler than hitting a thousand subscribers is that we've created this whole community. I get phone calls and text messages and emails it's like we have this little network going. We have jokes that are shared within the videos to different folks. I call on friends when I have a problem that I need to bounce something off of and they reach out to me, what tool are you using, Wes? How are you doing this? And it's, it's really inspiring. Uh, it's so humbling. I, I love this platform because of that. It's just absolutely amazing. Today is a very special project. It's this bugle. It's a really old bugle. I don't know the age of it. It came from a viewer, sent it to me from Iowa, and asked me to take care of it. And I said I would be happy to. I'm going to be sharing some of his story throughout the video. I really didn't talk much in today's video. The whole time that I was taking out dents, I was thinking about just where this bugle had come from and the life that it has seen. I'm going to be sharing excerpts from an email correspondence with the owner about the Bugle and about his experiences with the Bugle. At the end, one of my new friends, JB, from JB's Music out of League City, Texas, is going to play us out at the very end on his beautiful trumpet. When I texted him and asked if he could do this for me, he just jumped at the chance. That's, a, that's a, just another thing about the camaraderie that's grown within my channel. I just, I just absolutely love it. Today's video is more of a short story. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. All right, here we go. Got this really cool old bugle. I can see that there's been some tuning slide damage here. Someone has tried to knock this out. We've got some dents down here. I've made a tool to go after this dent because the taper here won't allow me to get my standard tools in. Some significant bell damage. It's been pushed back up. This is all pretty, pretty serious. Some significant dents. We're going to take the whole thing apart, chem flush it, put a new patina on it, seal it up. I've made a form to go for the tuning slide. That's going to pop in here. What I used are these thermoplastic crystals. They become hard in water. I made another video on that that you can check out. So you can pop these in, have them tight. It allows you to use a professional repair tool such as a heavy drumstick and a hammer. And you don't get the damage that you saw in that crook, which is the goal. All right. Let's see what we got now. Okay, the solder joint's broken over on this side. And it's not really buying us anything. Okay, we're going to remove the crook. When I was asking the customer about the tuning slide, he said in all the years that he's had this instrument, it's never moved. 
so I figure we'll probably have to get pretty serious with it. That's a lot of corrosion in there. That's a whole lot of corrosion in there. So I think what we'll do is uh, remove the solder, all remnants of the solder, and then do our trick to break down that corrosion and see if we can get the slot inner slide tubes free. That's a lot of buildup over the years. Old school trick. to heat the tube almost to where you're gonna anneal it and it will break down the corrosion that's inside. This penetrating oil that you're seeing it burn off. I've had this in penetrating oil for weeks. See all the corrosion that came out of it. I was hoping it was going to be that easy. There it is. I believe that one of the reasons that instrument manufacturers have used to using two have moved to using two different materials on their tuning slides, such as nickel silver against brass is because the two don't share molecular structure. What you have on these old ones would be brass shares the same molecular structure with itself, so it's easy for it to start fusing together. cool little trick so a little bit of a change of plan uh, we can get the we can do all the dent work on this piece pretty straight ahead this one flexes too easy and what I'm specifically I'm gonna have to go this way to get this dent I can get the I can reach these but to get this particular dent, I've got to come from this way. Let's just go ahead and chemical flush everything, get it all clean, and then do everything else. After having the bugle in my shop for several weeks soaking in penetrating oil and seeing it every day, I sent Mr. Tony an email and asked him if he could tell me some history or what he knew about the bugle and what it meant to him. Mr. Tony said that it was purchased about 68 years ago for his older brother while he was becoming an Eagle Scout. He used this very bugle to earn his badge as the title Boy Scout Bugler. The bugle called the boys for Reveille, for the end of day, and for many flag ceremonies. It was also loaned out for military funerals as well. See, I'd prefer to do the mouth pipe and the bell and keeping it as one unit. So it keeps us that part of the horn together. Mr. Tony says it was pretty banged up when we got it, but having been in the military 36 years, it stood for a whole lot to me. I remember hearing taps played at Lights Out, and it made me think of home. Again, I heard it played at the many military funerals that I attended or assisted.
this technique is a takeoff of a trombone tuning slide. On a trombone tuning slide, you use this kind of a tool and you push the ball around the tuning slide. So I found this and what we're going to do is push from this side and push on the dip ball that way. And we only got to go just to right there. There's another system that you can use for this as well. It's the cabling system. It has two long cables on it that uh, Freeze makes. And so it allows you to you would have the cable, one end of the cable coming through here and the ball and then one cable coming through here. So it allows you to pull it and then when it's time to pull out you come back this way and you can pull it. Tony Flores spent 36 years in service to his country, and the constant that reminded him of home and family was the daily playing of taps and reveille on the military installations where he lived. He shared, quote, Once during a funeral as taps was played, it was the background for a mother to cry for her young son, who had recently returned from his initial active duty training. This was just a memory that I'll never forget. I recently put up many of my military mementos in my bar, and I hung the bugle above the entrance. I thought I sure wish I could find someone to make it more presentable in honor of what it stands for. I tried years ago to find someone to repair it, but I couldn't find any takers. And this brings me to you. I'm sorry that I can't give you any more information on it, but this is what I have. This is a tribute to my dad, a World War II vet, and a reminder of service to our country. So this restoration, to me and Tony, is more than a brass instrument. It's more than just a bugle. It symbolizes the sounds that unite us all, the patriotic spirit on this Independence Day. So to those who served, like Tony and his dad, a World War II vet, we thank you. And may we all remember the times the bugle has motivated and inspired soldiers and yes, laid others to rest.